In this video, we'll look at how to find the end behaviors from a graph, from a table of values, and from an equation. Let's start by looking at the graphs. Answering these questions here, the linear or exponential, increasing or decreasing, you'll start to see patterns that will help you find the end behaviors. So this very first graph, if you look at the graph, it is linear. So I circle linear. If I'm looking at increasing or decreasing, I always look from left to right. The line is going up from left to right. That means it's increasing. For the end behavior, I'm looking all the way to the right of the graph and all the way to the left and seeing what happens as I'm going to the right and to the left. So if you look as x approaches negative infinity, that's going to the left of the graph. If I follow the line, it's going down and keeps going down. It's never going to stop. That means it also will be approaching negative infinity. Now as x approaches infinity, I'm looking to the right of the graph. If I follow the line, it's going up and will continue to go up and never stop. And so as x approaches infinity, y also approaches infinity. You'll find that linears are really easy because they're always about infinity and negative infinity. Now the second graph, I'm looking at it, it's not a line, it's an actual exponential shape. So this is an exponential function. And increasing or decreasing, I'm looking from left to right. As I look left to right, the graph is going down. So it's a decreasing graph. And then for the end behaviors. So as x approaches negative infinity, I'm looking to the left of the graph. If I follow the curve, it's going up and will continue to go up, and so it's going to be approaching infinity. As x approaches infinity, I'm looking to the right of the graph. Now here, it's a little bit different. It's going down, but it doesn't keep going down forever. It looks like it's leveling off. Then this is what happens with all exponentials. They have a point that it looks like it's going to level off. And this one, it's getting closer and closer to this negative 3 line. So as x approaches infinity, y approaches negative 3. Now let's look at finding the end behaviors from a table of values. If you look at this left table of values, trying to decide if it's linear or exponential, you need to look at the rate of change. So if I'm looking at these x values, the x values are going up by 2 each time. So right there, that's telling me I have a constant rate of change. If I look at the f of x or the y values from 22 to 16, is down 6, 16 to 10 is down 6. Again, if I'm looking at this, it's going down 6 every time. So that tells me that on both sides, both the x and y values are going up and down by a constant rate of change. That means this is a linear function. Now increasing or decreasing, as the x values are going up, the y values are going down. That means it's a decreasing function. So n behaviors, as x approaches negative infinity, that's like going back up the table and continue it on. As I'm going up the table on the x side, the y values are getting higher and higher, and they'll never stop because it's linear. That means as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches infinity. Now as x approaches infinity, that's like continuing to go down the table. So the x values get bigger and bigger, the y values will get smaller and smaller. And again, because it's linear, it'll just keep getting smaller. So as x approaches infinity, y approaches negative infinity. Now this right table, if I'm looking at the rate of change on the x side, I've got up by 1 each time. So I've got a constant rate of change on the x side. If I look at the y's, I can already tell that this is not going up by the same amount. Now to look at the pattern, I, it's easier if you look down here at these whole numbers. So from negative 1 to 1, that's up 2. From 1 to 7, that's up 6. 7 to 25, that's up 18. Now I can see it's not a constant rate of change, so it's not linear, meaning it's going to be exponential. And then just to show you, the real reason it's exponential is because if you look at the pattern here, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. It's a common factor or a common ratio of 3, meaning it's exponential. Increasing or decreasing, again, the x values are going up, 
the y values are also getting higher and higher. That means it's an increasing function. Now, n behaviors. As x approaches negative infinity, so if I'm going back up the table, imagine the x is getting smaller and smaller. The y values are also getting smaller, but if you look at these decimal values, it's negative 1.6, then negative 1.8, then negative 1.9. I can see a pattern here. It's getting smaller, but it's never going to hit that negative 2. It's going to go negative 1.9 something, negative 1.9 something but never hit the negative 2. So as x approaches negative infinity, y will approach negative 2. Now as x approaches infinity, that's going down the table. As the x values get larger, looking at my y values, 1, 7, 25, they are also getting larger, and there's no stopping there. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So as x approaches infinity, y also approaches infinity. Finally, let's look at finding the end behaviors from an equation. For this, you really need to know if you're looking at a linear or exponential and whether it's increasing or decreasing. Because again, if you know that, you know what the graph will look like and that will help find the end behavior. So looking at this first equation, I don't see any powers. That means it's going to be a linear function. So I'll circle linear. As far as increasing or decreasing, I need to look at the slope. The slope of this equation is 6, that's greater than 1, it's positive, that means it's going to be going up from left to right, meaning that it's going to be increasing. So now I know that the graph of this line is going to be going up from left to right, it'll look something like this, and then that helps me know for the end behavior, as x approaches negative infinity, as I go to the left of the graph, it will be going down and keep going, and so as x approaches negative infinity, y also approaches negative infinity. As x approaches infinity to the right of the graph, y will also approach infinity because the line is going up left to right. For this second example, I'm looking at the equation and I see x as an exponent, meaning that this is an exponential equation. Then I'm looking right here at the number that goes with the exponent, and 0 0.4, because that number is less than 1, I know that the shape of this graph is going to be coming down from left to right in the exponential curve, meaning that it's going to be decreasing. Now, since I know that the graph is going to be coming down left to right, again, that helps me know what's going on with the end behaviors. So as I'm going to the left of the graph, as x approaches negative infinity, the graph is going up, and it just keeps going up, and that means that y will approach positive infinity. As x approaches infinity, my graph is coming down, but it's leveling out. Now, to know what's leveling out, you need to look back at the equation, and I see this plus 2 right here, and that tells me that it's going to be leveling out at a positive 2. So as x approaches infinity, y approaches 2. Good luck with your assignment, and let me know if you have any questions.